Okay, so I have the Galaxy Nexus 7, and today I'm going to show how to play NES games on it with none other than a Wiimote. This works through Bluetooth and is completely free. You need no routing of the device, or you don't even need to pay anything. So, we'll get on with it. First thing you need to do is get a program or app called Wiimote Controller. See if I can focus on that. But this is available on the App Store and it is of course free. So, and then the other app you need is called John NES Lite, although I think this will work with other uh, NES emulators. So, go ahead, search John NES. There it pops up. John NES Lite, you can get that. Okay. Shows a few screenshots of it. All that. But now, before you get started playing games, you need to find ROMs, which are available online. Wink, wink. So all you really have to do is Google ROM Nintendo Entertainment System. Then you see Nintendo ROMs, NES ROMs, it's NES ROMs. I'll let you guys figure that out. So, anyways, what you want to do is fire up Wiimote Control. Hit the. There's a top button that says one. Initiation and connect or init initialization, I think it is. Um, you have to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled up here. Have that turned on, of course. That's how it communicates. So, not going on. There it goes. Okay. So, go back to the Wiimote. Hit initialization and connect, and that will try to connect. Hit power on your remote, and then hold the one and two buttons, and it will search for a device. Go ahead and hit connect again if it doesn't find anything. You'll see your LEDs blank, it says initializing, initializing, searching, found one, we might, okay, done. Pulling data. I don't know if you can see that. So this is connected, you can see the one, player one LED. So after this, you must hit the second, select Wiimote Control IME. Okay. It'll say choose input method, and what this basically is, is your keyboard or the Wiimote as your input method. So, you're going to want to switch this back after you're done playing games, but while you're playing Wii, you of course need to hit that, okay? So, now we're almost ready, but let's see. You will go back into this program, or app, go into your options in the bottom right corner, hit preferences, and you should see mapping options. Depending on the emulator you use, you want to map each of the buttons on the Wiimote the directional pads and the 1 and 2 to a different control. Now for mine I have of course up is mapped to D-pad up. Okay. And then I have down, left, right, A, B, 1, 2, plus, minus, home, and all that. But, get on with the emulator. Here I've got a few uh, ROMs and how I actually do this is if you download them onto your device you go use a program called ES File Explorer. By the way, all these will be available in the links in the uh, comments, not the comments, the description. <laughs> you'll have a download folder, and you'll have ROMs in there, and you can move those into, you can make a new folder called ROMs, and make like NES games. That's simply how I do it. But if we go back, hit John NES. So this guy decided he needed his name in it. Let's do uh, Super Mario Bros. I already have one loaded up. We'll just hit reset. Let's see if it loads well. Okay, I have plus and minus as my start and select. So plus goes start. And then we have one and two. There you can hear it. Oh, powered it off. My bad. Power it back on. Turn the sound up. And then you can control Mario. Pretty damn fun. Honestly. If you mess with the settings on here, you can also have it in portrait mode, but I personally like it in, uh, or not portrait, landscape mode, like this, sideways. But I like it in portrait mode. Um, as I was saying, okay. Let's give this a pause here. Um, you should see options in the top right. Go ahead and click the hit preferences. You'll see game input settings, key mappings, 
then under here I have button A is mapped to X, button B is mapped to Z, okay? Now what does this mean? Of course I'm not using a keyboard. This was what I was talking about earlier. You go back home, back into your Wii Remote Control, Options, Preferences, Mapping Options, First Controller, A. A is mapped to... where is it? Did I pass it up? A is mapped to number one. I think that's how it works. The A button. So my A button on here is mapped to one on here. So of course you have to have these both work together. You can also, let's see. I guess you can control other uh, apps and things with the remote, but the Wii mode is held sideways, of course, like this. And you can kind of switch between app screens. App screens, I can't speak. Kind of go through all those. But, yeah, this is pretty awesome. I think you can play just about any NES games. Here's uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Mike is waiting. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And just hit start. Um, that's basically all I have to offer in this video. Thanks for watching, guys.